Hey, Karen Jones here from The Heart Matters with this issue of scrumptious relationships. So you already know how important it is for you to know exactly what you require from a man, right? In order to be able to choose him, right? And, and if not, stop right now, go on the website and let's talk because it's essential. You shouldn't be dating unless you know exactly what it is that you require. So I'm going to assume that you already get that, you know that, you have identified those things that you require in a man in order to be able to choose him because it is the most important decision you will make in your entire life is who you choose as your partner, right? Awesome. Now here's the thing. You may inadvertently be, because of course you're not doing this intentionally, but there may be some things that you have on that list of things that you require that are not based on your best self. So let's see if any of these are actually possibly going on for you. One of them is anything on your list that is based on your own insecurity. Think of something that you are lacking that he needs to make up for. You're shy and introverted, he's gotta be the life of the party. Um, you are not very successful, he's gonna have to make up for it. Um, you're terrible managing money, so he's gonna have to really have that part of his life just handled. But it's not that you want some balance, it's that you're insecure about this part of you and he needs to make up for it. That is a disaster. Or you have some kind of a fear, a fear of growing old alone, a fear of running out of money, a fear of just think of all the ways that you could be having something on your list that is about a fear, something you don't want to have happen in your future. That's not a powerful place to be coming from. And it's probably not gonna attract what you want anyway. Um, another thing that sometimes women have creep onto their list is something about not really their own values and deeply held and cherished ideas about who they are and the life that they wanna have with their partner, but it'll be more like an expectation from society or from their family, right? Families are notorious for this. You have to have this kind of a guy or he has to have you know, it has to be this religious background or and it has nothing to do with your own values. Don't let those things creep onto this list of what you require in a man. Because in order for you to attract a great man, you want to be living from your great self as a woman. And if you're not, if you know that you're not living from that place, if you're not generating from a place of your own awesome, scrumptious, juicy self, please stop dating right now now and get that handled. You can't attract what you want if you are not a match. You can't. You can't. So that's what I want for you. You deserve to have that awesome scrumptious relationship with a man who's a great fit for you and he deserves to have you. But you got to have the right foundation, right? You got to be the right kind of magnet for him. So anyway, that's your assignment should you choose to accept it until we meet again. Thanks.